Business is good at Fule's shop in Beijing. Electric bicycles are a popular way to get around in Chinese cities, especially in places where regular motorcycles are prohibited. An estimated 20 million electric bikes are sold in China each year. Fu's customers come from all walks of life. Migrant workers who can't afford cars buy his e-bikes, as well as members of China's new middle class who want to steer around the traffic. Ten years ago, electric bicycles weren't popular at all. Most people back then complained that they were much slower than motorcycles and not as sturdy as bikes. But that's changed in the past few years. There are some really environmentally conscious people out there. And of course, the price of fuel has gone up too. But electric bikes are just the beginning. China sees electric mobility as a solution for a number of problems, from urban pollution to the country's dependency on oil imports. Christian Hochfeld works in China for the GIZ, Germany's International Development Agency. Hochfeld rides an electric bicycle himself, and he wants to promote e-mobility in China as an environmentally friendly approach to everything from power production to waste disposal. Today this bike uses lead or lead acid batteries that are poorly recycled. And unfortunately most of the power comes from coal plants that aren't very efficient. GIZ wants to help see to it that these scooters run on recycled lithium batteries and renewable power in the future. One of Hochfeld's main jobs is meeting with Chinese government ministries and agencies. Katark, China's automotive technology and research center, is GIZ's main partner on the e-mobility front. Katark also sees a chance for China to be a leader in the emerging market for e-mobile technology. We're not far from the international standard when it comes to developing electric cars. We have deficiencies when it comes to classical engineering, but less so with electrical technologies. Thousands of Chinese companies are already involved in the e-mobility market. This factory in Tianjin makes electric motors. The central company has been in the business for a decade. They started out producing accessories for electric cars. Then they started making electric motors for bigger vehicles. Now the company wants to sell its products abroad. Chinese entrepreneurs already have a strong foothold in the e-mobility industry. And China's large consumer market and lack of regulations leave them plenty of room to test new ideas. In China, we benefit from being able to try out our products in small towns to start with. The products don't have to be of such high quality. But we learn from that and we can improve our products. And one day we'll be able to go from making electric bicycles to making really good electric cars. The next factory is run by a joint Chinese-Japanese venture. Here, Hochfeld takes a look at how lithium batteries are produced. The battery is the core of e-mobility. Without batteries that are both high performance and affordable, it will be a challenge to bring a large number of electric cars onto the market. More research is needed, and that means it will take years before electric cars are a mainstay on Chinese streets. Shenzhen is about 2,000 kilometers south of Tianjin. Hofeld is on his way to visit Chinese car maker BYD, and he's making the trip in an e-car. 300 of these E6 vehicles are being used as taxis in Shenzhen, as part of a pilot project by the government. They can go nearly 100 kilometers before needing to recharge. BYD employs tens of thousands of workers in its factories, but Chinese companies have fallen behind in the production of conventional combustion engines. They're now hoping their electric models will be able to compete on the global market. The GIZ's mission in China isn't about technological development. It's geared toward helping companies like BYD develop industry standards and adopt an eco-friendly approach. BYD has its own charging station, which looks a lot like a gas pump. But filling up the battery takes much longer than filling a tank, at least 40 minutes. 
And charging stations like this one wouldn't be sufficient to accommodate thousands of electric cars on the road. Each parking space would need to have its own power outlet, and making that happen won't be easy. The last stop is at a factory that recycles batteries in Changsha, in China's southern Hunan province. The plant is a leader in an industry that's still largely unknown. In the past, batteries were simply thrown away or inadequately disposed of. The lead-acid batteries used in electric cars are especially bad for the environment. Still, sustainability is a relatively new concept in China. Back in Beijing, the market for mobility is huge. Hundreds of millions of people dream of owning their own cars one day. The government hopes they'll turn to electric bicycles and cars, even if they're powered by coal-fired plants. You can't completely prevent emissions. We're not talking about zero emissions. But they're being shifted to the place where the power is being generated, to the power plants. It's easier to filter them there than it is here in road traffic. The Chinese government has identified e-mobility as a key industry in its current five-year plan. Despite those goals, pollution and high CO2 emissions will still be a part of daily life here in the years to come.